hört från sig. If, if only one industrious throughout the millennia, throughout the history of time, the courage, the vision to say that he existed for his own profit, for his naked self-interest, for his shameless success, the world will be free of altruism. Take it from scene two. I hate you for what you are, for wanting you. I'm going to fight you and I'm going to destroy you because, because I love you. More conviction! Sorry? Say it with more conviction! From the top? No need! I will hurt you through the only thing that can hurt you. Your work. I have pulled every steel girder from under the Taggart Transcontinental train station, and I will see it collapse upon your head. Any man who apologizes for being rich won't remain rich for long, but you know that. Fister! Run for your life from anybody who tells you money is the root of all corruption. No, stop. Say that line again. Me? Yes, you, please. Say the line again. Run for your life from anybody who tells you money is the root of all corruption. No. That's not right. That's not good. What is it? What is it? Run from any man who says money is the root of all, all moral decay, is the root of all compromise, all evil, evil. Run from any man who says money is the root of all evil. Leonard, who's a hammer? Okay, you two, take it from the top of the scene. Did you love him? I won't answer. Did you like sleeping with him? Yes. Perfect! Now hit her! Hit her hard! Iron Ran, you have five minutes till airtime. Already? How can that be? I'm only just fleshing out the second act. Five minutes. How do you expect me to finish in five minutes? All this incessant badgering is going to kill me. Here I am pouring out over page after page. I'm the fountainhead. And what do I get in return? Five minutes, Miss Rand. Five minutes. Every time. I'm... Excuse me, I'm... What? Continue? Yes, of course, Leonard. I didn't tell you to stop. Take it from, uh, did you like sleeping with him? Did you like sleeping with him? Yes. Who was he? Your competition. Give my voice away. Love making is an act either performed in tenderness or in contempt as a symbol of humiliation and conquest, as an act of a soldier violating an enemy woman. He did it as an act of scorn, of defilement, one gesture of tenderness from him, and she would have remained cold, untouched by the sink done to her body. Stop! Everybody, stop! <sighs> you too possess a passion of... Fitted hamburger sandwich! He is the ideal industriast, radiating, blinding greatness. You finally met your match, your sexual conqueror, your messiah. I understand. Do you? Excuse me. I like what you're doing, I do. But uh, you must take complete ownership of her. Complete dominance, without hesitation, violently, mercilessly. Here, take me. What? Yes, let's you and me rehearse the scene. Okay, now, take me like a man, uh, like the great man I know you are. Okay, grab me hard and hit me. You want me to hit you? Yes, I need you to hit me. Hit me hard. Two minutes till air time, Ayn Rand. Two minutes. Oh, no. Okay, we'll have to jump ahead. Leonard! <laughs> Take a look at the jungle female with her shriveled face and pendulous breasts. She sits grinding meal in a bowl. Please, that's your cue. Grinding meal in a bowl, hour after hour, century after century. We, the hardworking creative producer class, created the wealth of the world. But we let our enemies write its moral code. Stop. God. 
Just awful. I don't understand. Clearly you don't. You never understand. But you insist on delivering your lines of some wooden monstrosity. But you wrote them. I know that. So perhaps your writing is wooden? How dare you? I'm the Ayn Rand. I invented objectivism. I'm best-selling, world-renowned, millions of copies sold. I'm great philosopher. Not according to the New York Times. Communists. The New Yorker? Collectivist rival. LA Times, Chicago Daily Tribune, National Review, they all hated you. Lies, lies, they're all lies. I'm good, and you're my creations. I made you, you're mine, you will do as I say. That's what we've been doing this whole time. I'm run. one minute till their time. No. This time will be different. Hello? Hello? Hello, I need to speak to someone in production. I need to speak to someone about the broadcast. Hello? I need more time. I'm not nearly ready. Hello? Anybody? I need to talk to production. John Colt. Oh, thank God. Please help me, save me. I, I'm totally lost. My writing, it's, it's pathetic. It's, it's tilted, it's awful. Cliches on every other page, it's, it's hopeless. People, important people, it's laughing at me. I know it. Will it ever get good? What? My writing. What about your writing? Will it ever get good? Your writing? Yes. No, no. What was I? If, if only one industrialist throughout the millennia, throughout the history of time, had the courage, the vision, to say that he existed for his own profit, for his naked self-interest, for his shameless success, the world will be free of altruism. Take it from scene two. 